Here's a man we can trust as a referee. I think he'll do us all proud. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Well, this is certainly not the first time we've seen HBK serve as our special guest referee. Yeah, but unfortunately, in the past, Michaels often seemed more concerned with looking after his own interests than enforcing the rule of law. Here tonight, we can see Montreal all over again. Oh, have some faith, Saxton. Michaels isn't the same man he used to be. I have to say, I share Byron's trepidations. Michaels might struggle to take his referee duties as seriously as he ought to. mind of Mick Foley strikes again. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 287 pounds. Mankind! Mankind responsible for no shortage of historic moments in WWE. As we can forget that fateful night when Mankind was tossed from the top of hell in the cell in 1998. And Mankind hasn't been the same ever since. But then again, Mankind did introduce the world to Mr. Sacco. You illustrated my point perfectly. Mankind seemingly takes pleasure in feeling pain. Yeah, well, that does not bode well for anyone in the ring with Mankind tonight or anyone at ringside for that matter. And from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the There is only one American dream. WWE Universe, behold the leader of the Ministry of Darkness. It's almost as if The Undertaker has commanded a cult-like following backstage. And their opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 330 pounds, the We've seen The Undertaker perform sacrifices, burials, even set opponents on fire. Yeah, anyone in the ring or even around it should be very, very careful tonight. The Undertaker's frightening power and his agility. But now he has the forces of evil at his side. Here comes a noble competitor from the United Kingdom. And his opponent representing the Heart Foundation. 
from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. An all-time great and the pride of England. The British Bulldog, one of the most powerful wrestlers in the history of WWE. made his debut on the independent circuit of the United Kingdom in 1977, has influenced countless superstars of today. The personification of intensity, Macho Man Randy Savage. And from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage! A superstar who has always marched to the beat of his own very unique drum. Yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage notoriously used to say the cream rises to the top. Well, I would say that Savage is proof of that statement. Oh, listen to these people. The Macho Man has the entire WWE Universe in the palm of his hand. Nobody quite like the Macho Man. Here comes Scott Hall, one of the toughest men in sports entertainment. And representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. No finesse, just pure brawling ability. Scott Hall comes to fight and to hurt his opponent. Scott Hall helped destroy WCW, turn WWE upside down. At six foot seven, 280 pounds, he has every right to be confident. History has shown there is no antidote to the poison that Scott Hall. He is one of the most impressive athletes in the world. More than happy to prove that he's the best. And representing the Steiner brothers from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 276 pounds. Amazing amateur accolades. If he grabs you, the match is over. You're right about that, Cole. His arsenal is second to none. We're talking insane offensive innovation. The man who invented the Frankensteiner and has a periodic table of suplexes at his disposal. Here comes a driving force in sports entertainment. And Big Sexy is walking with a purpose. Representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash. Byron, who can forget Bash at the Beach 1996, the formation of the NWO. The entire world of sports entertainment, Corey, was turned on its head. They were shocked. It was a surreal scene, and that charge was led by Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Kevin Nash will destroy you in the ring, and then, after he's finished, he'll destroy you all over again on social media. Trust me, I've lived it. You know, I've been wondering about that. I think Kevin Nash actually blocked me by mistake. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake when I did it. Hollywood! 
is taking over. And representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan! Hulkamaniacs, read it and weep. Hollywood will rule forever. Unmatched success in sports entertainment. Unmatched box office power and unmatched physique. Cole, what you gonna do when Hollywood runs wild on you?